Hello everybody, how's it going today? Super Fiend here. Welcome back to our Three Kingdoms Yellow Turban playthrough. Uh, once upon a time was Huang Shao, not our faction leader anymore. And we got some pretty good action planned, I think, for this episode. Last episode was a little bit more slow and calm as we built up some of our commanderies, increasing our income. We're now at 32,000 per turn with our taxes down a notch. That's, that's relatively good. And we are also, if we look over here, we are at our army cap and some of our armies are fielding elite troops. So like income wise, we're looking really good. Uh, I could go through and like min max things and do stuff to like really boost up our economy. But you know what? I mean, it's it's like it's at the point where it's good enough. So uh, I'm more focused on just kind of um, wrapping up the campaign and defeating our enemies, which gave us such a hard time earlier uh, in this campaign. In any case, let's get on with this action here over at Wudu. Duchy of Zhang has the copper mine, and I'm planning to take it. And the way we're going to do that, I think, is we have an army here, here, and we have another army back here. Now, this one is a single yellow turban general with two yellow turban captains, so not that good. He might be able to defeat this force, but we don't want to attack yet, because if he can defeat him, we don't want him to retreat and get in range of the copper mine where he will get reinforced. So instead... Uh, this army cannot reach this unless somebody in here has reach. Nobody in here has reach. So we cannot take the copper mine with our army that is in the back. That's Song Sai or Song C. Si. This army, however, can reach the copper mine. Uh, although, wait a minute, that's not us. Uh, this army, this army. This army, I think, can reach the copper mine. So we want to get there before Bei Ling Yun does so we can get that awesome 4% corruption reduction. They don't get their reinforcements, I don't think. No, they don't. And so we're going to turn this into a night battle. We're going to fight this manually to minimize our casualties because they have two armies nearby and they could even have more uh, a little bit south that I can't see due to the fog of war. So I'm going to see you on the battlefield. Okay, this is another one of our armies that has vanguard deployment across the board. So I've taken advantage of that by putting our yellow turban warriors uh, way up front with our yellow turban archers right behind. All of the archers have uh, flaming shot turned on or fire arrows turned on. So we're going to immediately start burning out the towers. We have our generals back here. And the reason they are kind of deployed further back is to stay outside the tower range. Although, oops. Like they were a little bit in range. We have our other cavalry and stuff back over here. Uh, somehow I missed a trebuchet. All three of our trebuchets are going to be all oh, right here. And I've got flaming shot turned on. Fire at will is turned on. And I've been very careful to not deploy within range of these towers on the right. So we're going to take some damage from these towers initially. We'll start the battle. We'll take some damage from these ones initially. But as they burn to a crisp... Uh, that won't be a problem. So let's, uh, come on, guys. Shoot. Don't be shy. Shoot, shoot, shoot. And let's just blast everything here. Okay, so all this stuff is going to go down very fast. They're going to get the downhill charge into our units. That's beneficial to them. Uh, but, like, we're, we're already doing so much damage to this settlement. It doesn't really matter. Okay, now I'm going to select, um a few of these units and put them on regular arrows so we'll be doing damage with regular arrows and morale reduction with our fire arrows these guys they charge into our swordsmen there no big deal they get in over here let us bring our cavalry up like all their stuff is starting to flee Okay, doing good damage. Those towers are destroyed. So let's bring some of our cavalry around this side, making sure that guard mode is turned off on all of our cav. These guys are fleeing over here. I don't mind if one unit of Yellow Turban Warriors takes excessive damage. That's acceptable for me. And now as these guys get up around the corner, we'll be able to get around and uh, charge down the line here. Okay, shooting those guys. We'll just fling our treb shots back over this way. Yeah, run them down. Okay, 
Okay, these guys are gonna get melted. Uh, missile units, where do you think you're going? Okay, charging in right here. Coming down the line. They're starting to break over here. Let's charge up with these guys. They will take a little bit of tower fire, possibly. Okay, but overall, we're looking pretty good here. That should be the battle. Where's my victory? Give it to me. Oh, you've got to be joking. Okay, stop firing. There we go. There was one more unit that regrouped over here of cavalry. And if you'd like to take a moment to look at the post-battle screen, get ready to pause the game here, and then I'm going to pause the recording, and I'll see you back on the campaign map. Okay, so we lost 331. We've done good. We'll occupy. Copper mine is ours. Copper mine is ours. Corruption reduction. Corruption reduction. We got thirty-five thousand. Let's uh, let's just go straight. Ooh. Oh no no no. Um, upgrade. Oh, I can build it, even though I don't own the city. And I guess the other yellow turban faction has leveled the city up high enough. Like, doesn't this normally have to be attached to a level six or level seven city? Uh, in any case, I guess it doesn't matter. We're going to go ahead and upgrade and finish that instantly. Let's look at our faction-wide corruption now. Down to 13%. Down to 13%. That is really, really incredibly good. Uh, for as big as our territory is, we have very little corruption. And it's largely due to how I organize these guys in here with their corruption reduction bonuses and some of the followers that they have that reduce corruption. And then owning the copper mines is really where all that is coming from okay so now this guy is in a very bad position he cannot move very far we don't have the movement to reach him and this army doesn't have the movement to reinforce a few so what we can do is we can push up okay we got 55 percent movement left over so I think we're okay to do that. Now, can this army... Can we reach this guy? Cannot reach him. Uh, but we can get into our reinforcement range here. So I think we are secure at the copper mine. I think we are. But there is a chance... Uh, well, the most armies they have is these two. So there's a chance that they could like lay siege with one, attack with the other... Um, I'm not sure how it's all going to go. Copper mine looks okay. If I do a tax exemption, do we still get the awesome corruption reduction? Is it still a mild 13%? Yeah. So I'm going to turn off taxes at Wudu for now so that we can get our faction support increasing a little faster. Uh, I think we had also looked at trading for the silk trader so let's uh let's offer up some of our really bad ancillaries okay so we will um common okay so we'll give you a stone archer a wooden fish and two water clocks and what i want from you is i want the silk trader we have uh 5.7 to go here so let's look at regular payment of 5,000 which is way too high let's start decreasing this there we go oh it's gonna be less than a thousand per turn 25 Ooh, 700 flat there we go so now we're gonna get the uh, silk trader and we're gonna give them 700 for 10 turns. That's that's really it's no big deal. In the long run, we'll probably get more out of the silk trader. And we will go ahead now and upgrade this, I think. Yeah, let's upgrade that. I like that for there. And so that's pretty much all of our movement over here. Let's uh hop into the back and let's finish upgrading that. And then looking at our income here, it's split between commerce and industry. 
commerce and industry, commerce and industry. So I think maybe we want to build manufacturing or do we want to improve our farm? 10% food production. So there is no income from peasantry here with this thing. It's just straight up food. So you know what? Looking back at this one, I think I'm going to uh, just go with the manufacturing. On ding. Can finally improve that for 5,000. Shuo Fong. I'll spend 600. And then another uh, 5,000 getting the salt mine moving again. And then let's go back over here to the settlement that has a lot of construction cost reduction. Okay, 200 income from peasantry or from industry. I keep saying like every one of these wrong. You'll have to forgive me. Sometimes brain no worky well. Okay, good. Now, 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 now. We're going to go take this trade port here from Duchy of Chu. This could be their last settlement. Could be. I think this is our better army for this. We have... Uh, am I confused? No, okay. I'm confused. Uh, but what we do have here is a bunch of um, artillery and good missile. Oh my gosh, we don't have the movement. Oh, this is like a... It's a movement vampire. Darn. Hmm. All right, what about this army? Okay, so this is the one that can get there, huh? Oh, poo. Well, if this is the one, this is the one. Let's go take the trade port. I wanted to take it with the other one. Uh, we're going to do a night battle. Once again, we're going to fight this manually to minimize our casualties because they do have two forces nearby, possibly more, and I'll see you on the battlefield. Here we are, deployed and ready to go. Once again, I, I usually favor this entrance on these port settlements. It seems to work out a little bit better. And we have two units of yellow turbines, warriors with vanguards here to soak up the tower fire. We have our missile units with flaming shot turned on to evaporate the towers. And then we got trebuchets. I've got fire at will turned on on them. And we have two units of chanters over here with a unit of venerable Wu, which causes fear. And then we have two units of Yell Turban Warriors here with more Chanters. And we have White Way Veterans on the flanks of our missile units. So let's see how this unfolds here. We're going to go ahead and open fire with our artillery. And then let's blast these towers down quickly if we can. And let's move this unit um, kind of up and like that. Are we moving in the range of that tower? Yes, we are. So let's uh, let's change it more to like this. That looks pretty good. On this side, though, we'll move up with uh, all of these, but then this unit will go here and then there. Trebuchets. I don't hear a lot of uh, fire out of them. Let's start hitting the archers and the archer captain with our trebs. And let's start... Oh, oh, gosh. Why did they do this? Stop that. Okay. Shoot the shielded units, please. Okay. We're going to actually move into the tower fire here. Uh, because that is going to give our generals a little bit of space. Let's start moving that way. Oh, you brainless idiots. <laughs> oh, I wish um, we need a quality of life improvement uh, for the brainless archers that march forward when they have guard mode turned on. Please, creative assembly, please look into it. Investigate and fix. <laughs> All right, let's move up with the channers here, though. Um, okay, we'll charge into you. Okay, run that down. Uh, go take the towers. Okay, charging in over there. Charging in. Okay, 
Very good. We should be getting into the back there. Okay, get back there, the rest of you. No, I didn't mean to click on you. Artillery can stop firing to minimize friendly fire. Let's go get on Mr. Captain. Keep chasing that stuff, please. Missile units can also stop firing. Charging in over here. That should finish off these units. Let's make sure that we have guard mode turned off. There we go. Pushing up. Okay, get on all that. That should be the victory. All right, very good. Decisive. I think it was decisive. Decisively fought. Here's the victory screen if you want to pause it and look at the numbers. Otherwise, I'll see you on the campaign map. That was actually a pretty fast loading screen. Okay, we're going to occupy. That puts us in good position over here. Ooh, a kindred Jean. Close all that out. And we have skill points for our veteran. Flaming shot it is. Very good. I like that. Now, over here. What do I do with this? Can I reach this? Can I get there? I can't get there. How far can this army move? He can get all the way up to here. So, I don't want Wang Shu to go further down the river. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over to here. And then I'm just going to get a boat. Okay, so that blocks them, right? They can't get any further. Who is not super spectacular here? This is a very defensive army. So, I think this other army... Led by Fang Shane, which I do think is rather spectacular. We're going to force march. We're going to go all the way up here. We're going to try to cut this guy off. If he wants to come up and fight us, he can do it. But I don't think they'll choose to. I think our army is much better. Although we would be fatigued on the battlefield. If they were to fight either of these armies, I think they would they would venture more towards Shangguan Hangba. Uh, or they might come back with both armies and attack the trade port. And Xinjing could have a rough time. But we do have a lot of infantry. We have a lot of infantry there. Another choice here. Can we can we reach this? It says two turns. Where Where is one turn? One turn is right here at this little river crossing. Okay. So that's no good. Um, What's this guy's army? It's a little depleted too, but they do have good units. They have infantry of Jing, spear guards, peasant band, fair amount of cavalry. I don't think you get reinforcements in river battles in this game. I know you do in Warhammer 2. So I'm going to be a little risky. I'm going to push way up because we got lots of spears. If they attack us, um, I hope an our auto resolve is better than their auto resolve. Gosh, I hope I didn't screw up and sink this uh, fleet. Okay, over here, we're going to continue coming down the river, moving a wee bit at a time, because I don't know where Machao is. Okay, we got more Han Empire there. That's fine. Han Empire there. Kingdom of Ba. We're not at war with them right now. Okay, so that looks pretty good. This is our coalition. Friendly neighborhood yellow turbans. I have no idea where Ma Chao has gone. He could be ambushing in here. Who could survive an ambush better? Not really either of these forces. Uh, 
Oh, that's Duchy of Zhang. If I move up there, I won't be replenishing. Okay, we're going to stay in the city. We might get ambushed, but I'm going to push all the way down to here. Please don't get ambushed by Machao. Okay, I'm starting to suspect that they went into a force match, force march, and they just like went out of here post haste. Um, these are like three uh, valley passes through the mountains. I think if they try to come through here, it'll be pretty slow going for them, and we'd have plenty of time to respond. So I think we're going to move right here where we can be reinforced by our ambushing friends should they decide to attack us. Okay, that looks good. This is good. Okay, now these armies right here. We are going to end up at war with Duchy of Wu. So I think what we're going to do... This gives us 33% of our movement left over. The boo is pretty weak. Okay, we're going to come up onto the shore here. Alright, uh, Lu Bu has no choice but to fight us because the way we've come up onto the shore, we are in his zone of control. So he would have to first attack us and then retreat. And there's a very good chance that they may just go ahead with the attack. So uh, maybe maybe next episode or uh, next turn, maybe we end up killing Lubu. I don't know. We'll see. Moving a little bit south again here. So we have Han Empires down at the Nanhai large town. And now I'm going to move back this way because I think when we declare war on Sun Sua slash Duchy of Wu, I want to um, very quickly take the trade port and get him boxed in in here. He's not recruiting, so he's being very foolish. He's not building up his armies. Okay, I'm not going to spend any extra money right now. Who is this? You're staying right there. I think we're ready to end our turn. We'll see if we get any action over here. We'll see if we get any action over here or somewhere around up here. Okay, so they are... Oh, boy. So you do get reinforcements in the river battles. That's good to know. And it's a it's an auto resolve, so we're gonna retreat. Okay, that's good. Oh, that's really good. Oh, that's even better because we can come on at the fishing port. Our ambush has failed. Who is this? Machao. Uh, I'm gonna night battle this and delegate. So apparently they were over by our city, and they tried to sneak by us. Um, and this is a small stack attacking a large stack. So I'm going to assume that Machao is in an ambush nearby and they were going to try to use both armies to attack our stack here. But then this, the, the lead army bungled into our ambush, even though the ambush failed. Okay, so we'll execute all this. We'll take the replenishment. So Machao is probably right there. There he is. Oh, <laughs> you're in trouble now. You're in trouble now. We're going to reject your peace offering. Oh, Machao's in trouble. He's in big trouble. Okay, and Duchy of Zhang, that army is just like, it can't move. It doesn't want to go anywhere. So if we're patient, we can just wait them out and they'll maybe take attrition from military supplies. Okay, we finished another reform. Strategies of the Warring States. Enables grill deployment for our own retinue, a few buildings, some traits. Okay. Looking over here. We'll get tons of reinforcements. So 
Which way can you retreat? You can't retreat at all? We're gonna delegate. Wipe you out. Goody, goody gumdrops. 11,000 attacking. We lose 1,200. Oh, that looks like a nice weapon. Another little weapon there. We'll take the replenishment. Once again, keeping our momentum up. Is that army destroyed? Us, us, us. I guess so. Alright, we want to keep heading uh, this way. This army cannot uh, retreat because they are in a force march. Oh my gosh. They're just getting absolutely crushed here. Uh, first, let's... Okay, first let's move up. Let's put this army in the copper mine or get as close to it as we can. We'll wipe out Xia Jinwen. I think she might be the faction regent. Should be able to delegate this one as well. Alright, that didn't go as heavily in our favor as I had hoped, but they are force marched. Take the 4% replenishment. They do get to recruit or uh, retreat a little bit. And we've captured an officer. We'll check him out in a moment. A G of Heavenly Mandate. Ooh. Does that go with the, um, the fortress? Gilded Turtle. Uh, so it's part of a set, but it doesn't tell me what the uh, the bonus is. Do we have a Gilded Turtle? We do. Apparently there's no set bonus. I don't know. We can't wear the armor anyways. Uh, do we want to push up and attack them a second time? I think we do. Follow-up battle. We can delegate once more. That army's dead, and I think they have a new faction leader. Find out. Faction Regency, Wong Can, or Wong San. And then we are relatively weak right here. Okay, Machao. <laughs> oh, I'm so looking forward to this. What's this army look like? And what's our time at? Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to bring both of these armies south. Uh, first, let's... We got 42,000. Let's upgrade the farmland, like, just all the way. There, now it should have towers and a decent garrison. And then we're going to take this army... Okay, we're just going to move straight south towards their city. Do that with the second army as well. Kingdom of Ba. I don't like them roaming around up here. Who are they at war with? Yellow turbans. I don't like them roaming around. Make me a little nervous. But let us come down the river here. And I'm going to pop up onto the shore. That's good. What happened to Lu Bu? He encamped. Not a bad choice. Now he gets the option to retreat. We've got all of our court armies chasing Lu Bu down. Sorry, buddy. Oh! Right through the nostril. <laughs> Lu Bu's like at the dinner table. Could you excuse me for a sec? I got something in my nose. <laughs> Yell turbans are... No, no, don't worry. We'll get it for you, buddy. All right. How far can we go? Okay, we want to keep these two armies near each other, and that's really as far as we can move. So with this one, we'll encamp. 
，势如狂澜。不可能这样做。Oh boy, I hope this is in our favor. But if she can catch them, and they stand and fight, and we can delegate this. Whew, okay, good. Now that army is really weak. Can we can we get closer? No, we cannot. Let's come up here where we can replenish. This is so cheap. And then, Man, you have got to be kidding me! Why are they making all these bad moves? Like they're forced marching so they can't retreat. So on this night battle and delegate, we should win. Yeah, we've won. You've got to be kidding me. 4% replenishment, we'll take it. And we should be able to catch him. Mm, darn. Pretty close. Uh, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to attack this guy in the water. He can't retreat. He's already retreated once. We'll delegate, sink his battleship. Take the replenishment. He can move pretty far. And he's not very weak. So what we'll do is we'll go full speed ahead with him. And just get all the way down here. And that should allow us to keep pace with this guy. Like there's nowhere for them to go. Uh, let's look in here and see if anybody has reach. Because if they do, we want them to be leading our army. We get campaign movement range there. Campaign movement range, we've already picked it up. 10% armor, own retinue. We're mostly melee. Do we have reach? No. No and no. Okay, there's a small chance he might be able to escape us. I suppose if we really wanted to ensure that they don't, we could pick around in our followers and ancillaries and equip something that increases uh, movement range, but I'm not going to bother. Uh, let's see, is it the middle one that we like? Income from commerce and industry. I think it is the middle one. We don't have any spice, so 50% income from spice doesn't do us much good. Uh, okay, yeah, so we'll pick that middle one there. Going for another upgrade up here. Uh, we'll instant build it. And then boop, instant, boop, instant. Now we can um, pop our administrator and stuff out of here. This thing is fully built. Uh, except for, I don't think we need this one. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the leader's house and we'll figure it out next turn. Yeah, this is a very uh, wealthy province. Okay, whoa, who have we not moved? You. I'm going to come up to right here. And we have room to encamp. We're going to hang out right outside the trade port. Because when we declare war, we're going to just take it right away. This army should be able to without too much hassle. We're up to 38,000 per turn. That is pretty good. Okay, now over here, Machao. Uh, this is kind of what I was what I was holding off for. We're gonna come finish you off. He's out of position. He's all by himself. He's retreating. We're gonna fight this manually. 
I think Machal uh, with a full stack here. I deserve. I feel he deserves to go out in a uh, in a true battle. So I'll see you on the battlefield. Okay, so they have deployed with their missile units in front and their G militia and saber militia in the back. Their generals in the back of that. They've put all of their cavalry, it would seem, on their left flank, our right flank. And so I have two units of Militia of Virtue right here, and two units of Yellow Sky Heralds, and a unit of Chanters, and then two Generals all over here. And the idea is going to be to uh, use our regular shot from our trebuchet to hit probably the Ching Marauders, and then maybe tie them up with the Militia of Virtue, who are unbreakable. And then we'll wrap up the other cavalry with these units and finish them off, chase them down with our generals. Up on the hill, way up, we have Vanguard deployment for our White Wave horsemen and Yuan Jing Shu. And we'll come down the hill, hopefully with a really good charge with a lot of momentum behind it. And then we have our Reclaimers and White Wave veterans up here. And we'll move a unit of Chanters up to provide the buff. So aiming at the Chiang Marauders. These guys did not have any vanguard, so we'll slowly start moving up here. Okay, and we'll see what kind of positioning they take. Uh, it seems like they're just kind of holding the line right now. Our men are spotted. I guess that would be our militia of virtue. Has our trebuchet even fired yet? Like, what is it doing? There we go. Knocked out seven of the elite cavalry pretty sure these are um a special cavalry unit a high tier cavalry unit but machow starts the game with them because uh, if you end up in his territory early in the campaign i think he's got one or two units of these uh, they are pretty good they are pretty good uh, but we're going to continue our volleys with our artillery i'm just going to speed it up here uh, if we can get them them down to about 30, I think I'll redirect onto maybe the Lance Cavalry. Oh, here we go. Okay, Militia of Virtue. Let's get them in here. I'm going to use two missile units to shoot the Lance Cavalry. They are unbreakable guys. And then our generals coming up. Shoot the Lance Cavalry. And I'm going to start walking down the hill with our units up top there. Okay, we got these guys all wrapped up. Let's get onto these guys. Pursue, pursue, pursue. Okay, stay on them. Okay, charging right into them. And then getting into the backfield with all that stuff. We got some Saber Militia there. Okay, let's go get the G Militia. Machao seems to have had a pretty good charge there. He caught our missile units. Let's get our Channers over in here. Okay, come on. Oh, these smokes were dying here. Yeah, the Xiang Marauders are really good. We need our other general coming down in this way. Okay, this guy appears to be saved, so let's uh, pull him back, keep him out of combat. We're working on these guys. Come this way, please. Go get the missile units back there. Trebuchet aiming at the crossbowmen. Okay, the Chiang Marauders are down or out. They will regroup though. Yeah, see, they're already back. Let's get them with our general. Let's bring our other general over. Get our unbreakable units here. All of our missile units shooting at Machao. Okay, doing pretty good. We're doing okay here. All right, let's go get this unit there. Let's get out of here with him. Out of here with them. So now our generals can start navigating the battlefield uh, in unison. We're going to get a charge back here on the G militia. We're going to put the white wave veterans on the saber militia, pull back with our white wave horsemen so that we can chase their peasant raiders. 
Getting the cavalry here. Get on them. I've lost a general. What are you doing? Okay. Get the saber militia. Get them. Artillery is out of ammo. Machao starting the waiver. Okay, stay on them. Come in here. Fighting the strategist. Okay, Machao is retreating from battle now. Come back with these guys. Uh, here we go. Peasant Raiders. Need reinforcements back there. Uh, both of them will just chase Ma Chao off the field. And let's go get the Xi Militia here. We need to uh, open up this combat for our spears to go get on stuff. And let's get out of this with our missile units. Because that's really not ideal. These guys are chasing him way down there. Uh, is that one of the Yellow Sky Heralds? It is. Where's our other... Are they both back here? All right, we'll just get on him. Machao is gone. He's running for his life. They were pretty good here. We broke this combat. So let's start pushing out this way. Let's fire into the G militia there. What are these? Channers? Yeah, they're not doing so hot. We got some white wave horsemen sitting around not doing anything. We got another unit that just got freed up. Okay, everything's starting to break. So a fitting end for Ma Chao. Retreating from a manually fought battle. And we'll go ahead and head off to the victory screen. Pyrrhic victory, <laughs> apparently. And if you'd like to take a look at this, uh, go ahead, and I'll see you back on the campaign map. Okay, we lost a good chunk of our force. We're going to go ahead and execute their general. We'll take the replenishment. <gasps> yeah, that's right. He retreated. So they're dead. Bummer. And, well, I guess we'll just, like, move back over towards the small city here. We have a skill point. This is our administrator over here. So, I guess we'll just take zeal. We have another reform we can go after. And this unlocks Scholar Warriors. I'm not sure that we'll see much action out of them. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, we could do some upgrades. We got 10,000, but I'm just going to wait. Save it for uh, next turn. Everybody's moved and all that. All right, let's end our turn and let's see where would we have any action? Where could things happen that would be of interest? Um, I guess over here. I think Duchy of Chu might not have any more territory, so their troops may become suicidal. Uh, we'll find out. And they said the yellow turbans set up a small ambush here behind this army. Oh, darn. Not another dead general. Uh, he's a veteran. I think it was Fug Sai or Fug Si. Uh, he doesn't have any artillery. So if we're going to put another general in, um, philosopher. Uh, okay. Sorcerer has flaming shot. I know that. You're a scholar. I'm going to pick the Philosopher. I think... I think maybe they don't have Flaming Shot. 
Or if we could find an astrologer, I know for certain that they don't. But they have to agree, or they have to get along with our other units. Okay, there's a sorcerer. I know that they have flaming shot. Also a sorcerer. An astrologer. Okay, Liu Ji. Oh, darn. So this is a scholar. Mostly infantry, all infantry. So I guess we'll go with the uh, the Jade Carver. Gets along with everybody, it would seem. Okay, faction succession, Duchy of Zhang being succeeded by Wang Ruo. Death by natural causes, Fu Xi, Fu Xi, and Long Gang as well. So let's go ahead and look at our appointments and make sure I did that right. Where is it here? Liu Ji, so that's on uh, this army. Okay, so yeah, the astrologer doesn't have any flaming shots, so I did that one right. Let's look at the other one. Yan Biao. I guess this looks okay. And then let's make sure that nobody that's died is part of our court. Uh, all these guys are still around. 37, 26, 55. So Pan Hui's getting up there. That's unfortunate. Uh, 34, 46, and 26. So Pan Hui might like bite the bucket, bite the bullet uh, soon. But I think for now we're okay. And I think we're going to end this one here. When we come back in the next one, we're going to try to take Ma Chao's capital. I think that will be the end of his faction uh, if we also wipe out this army. And I think once we destroy this army, that will be the end of Duchy of Chu. But I'm not entirely sure. And then these two armies are two turns, I think, away from Duchy of Wu's capital. So uh, next episode, we should see a battle here taking the capital city from Duchy of Wu. Let me know if you're enjoying this with comments or thumbs up. I am enjoying the campaign very much, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Uh, check out the rest of the channel. Subscribe if you're not already. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. You have a good afternoon, and take care.